I think the decision to get into van life really came from wanting to spend more time with each other. This lifestyle allows us to feel like we've found an infinite number of places where we're home. Hello, I'm Jay. And I'm Cassidy. And this is Samson. Our home. This is our house. It's our little cabin on wheels. We tried to make it look like a little cabin and use a lot of wood accents on here. But then we also wanted to brighten up the space and use a lot of white. Uh, we do have a Dometic propane stove. It's just two burner. Um, we also have a little coffee grinder over here because I love coffee beans. Um, this is our furnace. It's a marine furnace. So that way the baffling system is able to be turned with the truck. Otherwise it would cut off and kill the fire. So we have the Newport Dickinson uh, Marine Furnace, which works awesome because whenever we have to use it, it provides dry heat. So it doesn't get condensation throughout the whole cabin. There's also a space right here, which we can actually set a tea kettle and it can heat tea for us or coffee. Right here, we kept our cutout for the sink and you can just slide it back in and it becomes a flat surface all the way across. So down here where the sink is, we pretty much just store like our medicines and like anything for cleaning goes down there. We do have a really nice passive air vent, which has been my favorite addition probably ever because it pulls cool air from the below the truck and circulates within two minutes. So the whole entire cabin gets all the air replaced within two minutes, which is awesome. Over here we have our foods, all of our dry goods, tea kettles and whatnot. The little sliding space that we have below pretty much just carries fun drink powders and teas. And then we used a little yacht fridge, the isotherm. And then we have a little pull out table right here and chairs. So that way we can set our, our kitchen. This is our TV monitor, but we also have cameras all around the truck. So we do have 360 degree viewing. We can also use the monitor as Jay's editing, or we can watch movies on it, play video games. It's fantastic. And it's also on an arm so we can move it any way that we would like. And over here is our whole closet system. So we have all of our bedding up top. And then I have my own little hobby drawer of all of my knickknacks and stuff. And then we each have our own very giant drawer. It's very deep on these slides. And a little shoe compartment and a little coat hanging space. That way our puffies stay puffy. I think the decision to get into van life really came from wanting to spend more time with each other. There are so many options to just stay, settle down in the same town that we had all of our friends and our family in, but we had more to explore and we wanted jobs that didn't take away from spending time with each other. So essentially, we just like each other a lot and needed more. I would say my favorite aspect of living on the road is probably how conducive the lifestyle is to what we love to do already, which is hike, travel, and take pictures and make art from these beautiful places. And the whole the whole lifestyle kind of leads us into that. We feel very impermanent anywhere we go, but in doing so, it also allows us to immerse ourselves more fully into whatever mountain range or lake or desert or beach we end up, you know, sleeping on that night or that month or whatever the case may be. I think it just like, it gives us the opportunity. It opens the door to, to feel like we're, we're part of something and have found a place where we belong. And I think without that, you just kind of always feel like you're, you're a visitor in that place, not like you really belong there. And I think this lifestyle allows us to feel like we've found an infinite number of places where we're home. So 
this is our bed. It's just a jackknife bed and then it just slides out and you still have a little bit of room to walk if you need to go to the bathroom or anything. Uh, we do have more storage space down below the bed, which has a mobile desk and a bit more of our dry goods and food storage. So we also have Jay's pictures right here because he's the most incredible fine art adventure photographer. I'm not just saying that because I'm married. I just think he's incredible. <laughs> We do have a cool little bookshelf above the bed, which is mostly my books. Um, and a few pictures from our favorite artists. This is Sam Larson. He does cool little stippling designs. Um, and then we also have a Benjamin Hardman picture that just calls us to the outdoors because we love hiking. And this is a perfect motivating picture for us. So this is where all the brains of the truck is. Jay rewired everything but the fans are just to keep everything in there cool. Um, and we also have fans for some of the compartments. So whenever it gets to a certain point, it'll start kicking on the fan. So it'll reach an ambient cool temperature. This is our pass-through door. And it has all the aluminum on the other side. We just added this, which again has been an awesome addition because the front of the truck has all the windows and it adds so much either cool or heat. So having a thick door to block all of that temperature loss or gain, game changer. We have our bathroom right here, which is really cool because we have a full length mirror and we also made it a bifold door. So that way, whenever you pull this out, there's a latch right there and then you have extra space if you need it. We have these hammock hooks right here. So that way we can string a hammock over the bed. And then there's also space below, which you can put a little inflatable mattress pad and sleep down there. So two in the bed, one ham up in a hammock and one below. You can sleep four people, which is freaking awesome. The thing that I've told quite a few people who were looking to get into this was do the life before you create what you think is like your dream uh, van or build or whatever. Spend some time seeing if you if you like how it feels to be on the road, even if it means just buying like an old, you know, minivan or like 15 passenger van and putting a blow up mattress in the back of it and like rocking down the interstate to some national parks and see if you enjoy that sort of rush of being on the road and that big tree of like all those long miles when they unfold into something brilliant and beautiful. I would say essentially the same thing. This lifestyle can be done by a lot of different people, but I think that it's important to know yourself and know what you're comfortable with sacrificing for this lifestyle. Some people might just need a weekend warrior van to live almost the same lifestyle and be comfortable going back to their home with their friends and their family. Some people need a full rig like this to where they can stay out for a year at a time and not feel like it's a temporary thing and you wanna feel at home while you're out on the road. So this is Samson, it's a 1995 uh, fire rescue truck. Its whole purpose was to go into forest fires and bring back firefighters. So it's an extremely heavy chassis. Um, it's a little bit lifted, it's four wheel drive. It has a 7.3 turbo in it. Um, pretty incredible, pretty beefy, extremely heavy truck. It weighs like 17,000 pounds. Um, it's a beast. It has a uh, has a huge winch on the front. It's a PTO winch. Um, we got all kind of chains and jacks and service stuff up under it. We got a generator on the roof that I didn't want to have to fill up all the time. So I mounted a fuel cell like out of a race car on top. So it just siphons out of that. So it can run for like three days. We got a little we got a, a little faucet right here, just like a house picket just to like wash off boots and shoes and stuff like that. Uh, we have 600 watts of solar that's on a big rack that I put electric actuators on so you can hit a button inside and the whole rack angles. This is actually a side um, access for our shower so that's our shower from the outside. This is, is just like a 
utility compartment really more than anything. It's the hot water heater. It's also a fresh air vent and a transfer pump. This is a tool compartment. This is all of our tools, everything you need to fix the truck should anything ever happen. We also keep a lot of firewood in this compartment. And this is the power compartment. We've got um, 800 amps. Uh, we got a few Trojans and then a few that are like a Trojan knockoff because Trojan quit making them. That actually turned out to be better than the Trojans. So I've always wanted to kind of switch to lithium and I did future proof a lot of things, but the inverter won't run off lithium because it's old. And so like whenever I just got the 800 amp hours, I was like, let's just keep it there. And then one day we'll upgrade to, to lithium hopefully. But currently we haven't needed it. We can run like heating, blankets i do a lot of gaming we can just run like just everything we want and it's it just operates so i think like until we live in a certain way that like, we like need more power i don't see the point in upgrading but lithium would be nice one day when we first bought the truck it was just like metal walls all of these compartments went up all the way to the roof of the truck so this was all outside space you would open this compartment and it would just be like giant racks of tools and equipment. So on the inside, you had like this tiny little kind of half sit, half stand pinch, and then just metal walls that you would just like walk in between. And so we pretty much cut the entire truck apart and then just like played Tetris with the welder and just like flip things around to have outside and inside space. Um, how we make an income on the road, I am a full-time fine art outdoor photographer. Uh, we travel, we hike, and we take pictures, and this whole lifestyle in general is very conducive to what I do. It enables us to live in cool places, hike whatever mountains we want, or whichever ones are in season, and just get to all the, ble all the best and prettiest places and bring a camera w with us. So it's not really vacationing to these places, it's truly like, living in them and being a part of it and I think that all makes better art like we take pictures where we want to travel not like travel where we want to take pictures almost so like we just go where we feel like is the best place to go to like climb and hike and explore and then take pictures kind of along the way while we're there so like I didn't really like I don't really have shots planned before I get to a place and then we try and stay in that place long enough to let it kind of like bleed into who we are at the time and then take a picture after that. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being interested in our little home on wheels, our old tire truck. Um, if you want to see some of the art that I create that we hike and travel long distances to get. You can find it on jubbish.com. It's like rubbish, but with a J, because that's my name. But jubbish.com. Thank you for watching. Bye.